بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد صادق الوعد الأمين اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه وجعلنا ممن يستمعون القول فيتبعون احسن وادخلنا برحمتك في عبادك الصالحين الحمد لله الحمد لله الملك الوهاب الباب التواب يتوب على من تاب ويقبل عودته من رجع اليه وانا نحمده سبحانه بما هو له وحده من من الحمد ونثني عليه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له غافر الذنب وقابل التوب شديد العقاب يقيل الاخرات ويقبل التوبه عن عباده ويعفو عن السيئات ونشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمد عبد الله ورسوله خير من استغفر وجاب ورجع اليه ربه واناب وصلى الله عليه وعلى اله واصحابه الاخار المستغفرين به الاصغار ورضي الله رضي الله تعالى عنه ان يتابعنا له باحسان الى يوم الدين اما بعد فعباد الله ان الله تعالى يقول يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا الحمد لله رب العالمين great blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I'm sure alhamdulillah you all enjoyed the Eid last Friday alhamdulillah and the live party I'm sure that had a good time with the families and friends alhamdulillah may Allah reward us for all reward all of us for what we have done in the month of Ramadan alhamdulillah ya fil alamin inshallah we'll, we'll touch a little bit on that today inshallah and what we are going to do for the rest of the next until the next Ramadan inshallah so all praise be to Allah the almighty the compeller the all powerful prevailing he alternates the night and day and everything with him is due by measure he created the sun and the moon to follow their precise courses and he made time the time periods containers for the deeds we praise him for his blessings and favors and we are all grateful and dignified them through his his deed and on the day of judgment he will judge and recompense all of us Allah almighty he commanded his servants a messenger not to finish an act of worship until he engaged with another one so we finish one with the ramadan so we have to engage another one so he commands to sulas wa salam that not to finish an act of worship until he engaged with another one such that he immerse himself in the worship of allah almighty jalla jalaluhu all of his life So we miss Ramadan. I personally miss Ramadan, and I know all of us miss Ramadan. We miss fasting its days, praying during its nights, and connecting to the Quran, remembering and supplicating to Allah Almighty Jalla Jalla, who fulfilling the rights 
and obligations and performing acts of worship, acts of kindness during that month. For indeed we learn from Ramadan that we are able to perform these worships no matter how busy we get and how much responsibilities we have. And the right of Allah Jalla Jalalu subhanahu wa ta'ala upon his upon his us is the greatest right that we must fulfill. For he is our creator, our provider, our sustainer, and our ordainer. And he is the one who recompenses us for our deeds. And we are his servants and are in servitude to him all the time. And he ordained for us the voluntary fast and voluntary night prayers. Ramadan is over, Ramadan fasting is over, but we still have the fasting. Alhamdulillah, he gave, Allah subhanahu wa has kept the door open for us. We still have fasting, we still can perform the night prayers. Just like we come every Jummah to perform Salat here, we came during the Ramadan, we came to prayer in Anjumma and Jumma too. So Alhamdulillah, we are doing that. The great blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is continuity, continuation. So Allah Jalla Jalalu subhanahu wa ta'ala He says in the in the Quran, Allah in the Shaytan Rajim Smilai Rahman Rahim, Kitabun and Zallahu Yilaika Mubarak, Yadabbaru Ayaki this is the blessed book, the, the Quran al Karim, Alhamdulillah. We went in Ramadan, you know, we, we recited the Quran, we listened to the Quran, we had so much connection with the Quran. And we know that the, the Quran was revealed in, in the month of Ramadan, and we had so much touch to it. And we were reading every day. Allah says, a blessed book which we have really revealed to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that they might reflect upon its verses and that those of understanding would be reminded. In a place Allah says, فَإِذَا فَرَغَتَ فَنْسَ وَإِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ فَرَغَتَ So when you have finished your duties, then stand up for worship. And to your Rabb, Direct your longing. And we did this in during the month of Ramadan. And it's still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, You're not finished. You have done, Alhamdulillah. Whatever you have done is a great job. Allah rewarded you. Allah is going to reward you for that. But whatever we have learned in the Ramadan, that was a lesson for us. That is a, that was a lesson to carry on until the next Ramadan. So it's not something that we have done. One act of worship and then it's over and we are not going to worry about it anymore. No, it's the blessings of Allah. Allah has given us an Iman. Allah is the one who is going to keep our, keep our Iman in safe. So we have to continue the continuity after Ramadan. We have to fulfill the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the same way, same manner that we did it during the month of Ramadan. So Ramadan was a blessed month for us. Because the rewards in Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given more, a lot more. So now it's still continue. If we do anything now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will continue to reward you for that. So, obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So be conscious of Allah Almighty on obeying and devote yourself, devote yourself to His worship. And pers persist in performing righteous deeds. For the dearest deeds to Allah Almighty are those done cons consistently, even if they are few, and beware of abandoning these after Ramadan. For a person does not know when his term will finish. So do not abandon whatever you have done in the month of Ramadan, Alhamdulillah. Continue, continue that. So we don't know when our life will end. We don't know when our time is going to come. So we have to keep continuing this acts of worship. We did it during the month of Ramadan, Alhamdulillah. We need to continue.
and you see that they start, they start doing it. So, <coughs> it was a good conclusion that it was for the one who concludes with the right, righteous deed that he consistently performed it. So, it, it was bad for the one who has abandoned a good deed after having performed it. So, do not abandon a good deed after you perform it. Keep continuing. So, my respect to brothers as Islam, our deen, Islam, is distinguished from other religion in terms of application and deeds in that it is our religion with a constant connection with the individual that does not go away once the ritual finishes. The ritual comes and go, but it doesn't finish. It always continues. It doesn't disappear. So it, this is the religion of continuity. To connect ourselves to our Rabb. Always we need to keep ourselves connected to our Rabb. To elevate ourselves to the highest religion. So my respect brothers is Islam. In the month of Ramadan, during the days past, permitted our ears and eyes. We lived it day by day and night by night, and it finished with people accrued of deeds, good deeds. Therefore, we are those who did good deeds. And those who fell short, those who did much and those who did a little, those who were accepted and those who were rejected. Tomorrow there will be accounting and the doers will be recompensed. And the day that we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will recompense and will tell you what shortcomings we have. Ramadan, it was like a warehouse. You know, in warehouse we, we have a lot of things, we, we put things together. It's a warehouse of full of faith. So, and dreamers of Allah, Jalla Jalla, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And people take from it their supply for the whole year. So there are those who take a full share from it, and there are those who watch the people taking and do not do nothing more than watching them. So there are people in Ramadan, it happened for them too, so in Ramadan people repented from their mistakes and they promised of Allah Almighty that they will not return to, the, to disobedience after having test, tested the sweetness of turning to Allah Almighty Jalla Jalla subhanahu wa ta'ala with repentance, submission to Allah Almighty, supplication and reciting the Quran every day and every night so in Ramadan, worshippers constantly, consistently attended the congregation prayers and sought the first row. They were always here trying to get to the first row. They don't want to miss. And they did not miss the first takbir, the start of the prayer. So they resolved that they would continue doing so for their whole life. And going early to the prayer has a sweetness only known to those who have tasted it. You guys, we all, we all tasted this. You know, we wanted to come to the masjid first, and we wanted to be on the first row, listen to the Quran, the Quranic. We all did that. It's a continuity. We need to keep that. Huh? So, <clears throat> so in Ramadan, many of us knew the value of the Quran that we force it throughout the year. We listen to its verses during the night and recite it and during the day. And we found in the Quran the best companion that awakened our heart, motivated our, uh, us to do the good deeds that benefited us and refrain us from the harms of ourselves and the harms of us from our harms of others. So if we found in it a warning from the uh, from sins that we had adapt, adopted before. So we pledged to our Rabb, our sustainer, that they, we would leave them, we would not go 
for them anymore. We abandon those whatever the sins that we have done in the past. So my respectful brothers and sisters, Islam, we learn from the Quran what we need to know, about what we did not know in the time of Ramadan. And it alerted us to what we were inattentive, inattentive of. So we regretted the years that passed when we abandoned this great book. And we determined to recite a set amount daily, just a little bit, a touch of it, to not keep it on the top of the shelf. The Ramadan is over, the Quran is over. No. This is for us for our lifetime. It is just not for only Ramadan. Allah wanted to show us that in Ramadan, Allah revealed the Quran. Jibrailah came to Sulaim, he made him recite the Quran, the whole Quran in the month of Ramadan. Sulaim recited the whole Quran in front of Jibrailah. So we need that too, Alhamdulillah, we recited the Quran, we need to keep up with it, continue. We're not supposed to take the Quran and close it. This is done deal, I'm going to put it on the shelf and forget about it. I used to get up in the morning before Fajr Salat, pray to four of us of Salat. And we used to beg in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We still can do it. The night is still the same, the day is still the same. Everything is the same, nothing has been changed. Allah rewarded in Ramadan, Allah is going to reward in you now too. It's not something the door of repentance, the door of Tawbah, the door of peace is completely closed now. It's still open for us. So, in Ramadan, we display the kindness abounded through meals provided to fasting people. And you see that so many people were here during the time of breaking of fast. They break the fast here and they were eating and we provided those meals to them. <coughs> Sensing the need, and we sense the need of the needy. Huh? We make sure that we took some money out of pockets to give it to the poor people. We read in Ramadan. Still, it's opportunity for us. Still, we can do that. Offering the obligatory zakah, we pay the zakah, and following it with voluntary charity. Huh? We pay the charity, zakah, everything we need to do in Ramadan. It still is open for us. We can do it. And the fasting person felt the hunger of his poor brother. Huh? How, the, how the, the brothers and sisters who do not have the food, clothing, and, and, and the drink. That's how they felt. And we felt that too in the month of Ramadan. Allah wanted to show us. Feel the hunger. Feel the thirst. What they were going through. The people who do not have anything. And know their needs. <clears throat> and tasted the sweetness of performing acts of kindness towards them and introducing joy to them, their families and their children. So our own joy increased through giving more charity and performing more acts of kindness. And at the time of giving, we wished to own all that is on the earth, to be able to give even more to his brothers and sisters and infuse joy into their households. And we did the best we can in order to earn the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my respect to brothers and sisters Islam, so we still we can seek that forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We always wanted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us we beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan. Oh Allah, forgive us. Forgive our families, forgive our children, forgive our spouses, forgive our, uh, our Muslim brothers and sisters all over the world. Forgive the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu We beg Allah in the month of Ramadan. It's still the door of forgiveness is still open. It's not something that has been closed. So my respect to brothers and sisters, Islam, Still, you can do this act of worship, what you have done in the month of Ramadan. So, seeking forgiveness is the most beneficial <coughs> when accompanied <coughs> with sincere repentance. Make sure, <coughs> excuse me, make sure that you have that 
sincerely you have that sincere repentance for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> still you can get up in the morning before Fajr Salat, just 20 minutes and 20 minutes before, still you make one go and beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, cry in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save this Ummah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Save yourself, save your family from the fire of Jahannam. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh Allah, Ramadan was the greatest month for me. It was an experience for me. I learned the lesson from Ramadan, how to get closer to you. I established my hopes with you and I have the same hopes with you still now. Hope and Rija. Tawakkul. I established the Tawakkul during month of Ramadan. I used to rely upon you. I relied upon you. And still I'm relying. It's not over. Mahabba. I had that Mahabba during the month of Ramadan for you. The love. With your love and affection for Allah. I still have that love and affection with you in my heart for you. The love. How I felt about others. How I felt about your creation. How about I felt about you that we have, you have given me the life. So Allah. You can ask still for oh Allah forgive me, the forgiveness, the door of forgiveness and the door of repentance is still open for you. So my respectful brothers and sisters, just to remind that these are the things that we can do after Ramadan. It's not, don't think that if Ramadan is over, I'm done with it and I'm going to continue what I was doing before, that you have not benefited anything from Ramadan. If you see the changes in yourself after Ramadan, that you are doing same thing what you have done in the, during the Ramadan, then something that you have accomplished. If you see the changes in you, that yes, it's been done, I'm going to be over with it. Everything I wrap it up, keep it on the side until next year, who knows next year that will come to us or not. Not for next year, we don't even know what is tomorrow. There is no such thing as tomorrow for us. <coughs> Only time that tomorrow will be the day when you, when you were raised from the grave, you stand up in the front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the real day of repentance, and that's the day that you know it is tomorrow. Until then, you don't know when the tomorrow is going to be for you. For the one who only seek forgiveness with his tongue and is determined to return to, to sinning after the month of Ramadan, is not seeking forgiveness in reality. Rather, he is only deceiving himself and following the steps of shaitan. Stay away from shaitan. Shaitan is an open enemy for you, for all of us. So stay away from it. So as we bid farewell to Ramadan, we must remember that the doors of goodness open in Ramadan are not closed with this departure. And that the arenas of obedience are not closed by Ramadan ending. Even though the fasting of Ramadan is closed, the worship of fasting still remains open. So there are, as you heard before, that there are six days of fasting of Shabal. The fasting is still here. Allah has given us the opportunity. When you perform those six days of Shabal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa explained to us, that the fasting of the month of Ramadan is like fasting for the entire year when you fast the six days of Shawwal. Six days. It doesn't say continually all six days. In the month of Shawwal, any time during the month, only six days you can fast, you will have the reward of fasting all year. Huh? They say Ramadan, we fast 30 days. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies that to 10 times. Allah will reward us for 300 days of fasting. And when you complete the six days of Shabbat, multiplied by 10, which is 60, the total will be 360 days. So when you fast for the month of Shabbat, completing six days, we will have the reward of fasting 360 days. So do not give up. This is the opportunity for you, Alhamdulillah. Anytime you can fast, Sometimes, you know, it's the it's, it's sunnah of fasting Monday and Thursdays. 
Some people in the, in the month of Shabal, they fast Monday and Thursdays. That will be double reward. Huh? Just like you're fasting. Monday is completing the Sunnah of Rasulullah, so also fasting Monday and Thursdays. So fast if you have time. Mondays and Thursdays. Complete the six days of Shawwal. So my respect to brothers is to Islam. Not only in Shawwal, the other times also, fasting the 13th and 14th and 15th of every month, it is allowed for us, it is open for us. And fasting on the day of Arafah, and fasting on, on Ashura, and fasting in the month of Muharram, all of these days is still open for us. So, just plan, plan ahead and do these things, which is the best fasting. The fasting of Muharram says that it's the best fasting of Ramadan, as the Messenger of Allah was informed. So it is, as the night prayer of Ramadan nears, it ended with us, we must remember that this great and blessed worship remains without end, always open for us. We can get up in the night time, any time, and perform the Tahajjud Salah, a two, three, four rakas of Salah, with the time, and ask the last one, beg the last one, and the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi informed us that the night prayer is the best prayer after the obligatory prayer, and has a generous reward. For the successful are those who continue with the goodness initiated in Ramadan. Continue. You have initiated, you will learn something, you will learn the lesson, and alhamdulillah, continue that. Do not just go and discontinue, okay, I'm done with it, don't do that. The obligations are still upon us. We need to fulfill the obligation as, as Allah SWT has commanded. And there is no end, there is no end to the deeds of the believer aside from death. Only when death comes, the deeds are over. As Allah SWT says in the Quran, وَعَبُلْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَحْتِي بَلْيَقِينَ Allah says, worship your Rabb until there comes to you the certainty. Yaqeen. That is the Yaqeen, the death. So worship him. We ask Allah Almighty to grant us success in concluding Ramadan in the best possible fashion and to help us sustain the momentum throughout the year, throughout the year until Ramadan. Indeed, Allah is all hearing and all knowing and all answering. So be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do the best you can in order to fulfill the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have that muhabba, have that tawakkul in Allah, have that hope that you establish in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us love and hidayah to understand and fulfill the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to His will and in the way shown by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Aqul wa qawli haza wa astaghfirullahi wa rakum astaghfirullahi wa rakum astaghfirullahi wa rakum Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, the Billah Alameen, Washallah, Ilah, and Allah, Mahta, who la shari gala, Washallah, Sayyidina, Muhammad, and Abdullah, or Rasulu, Allah, Masoli, was Sully Mubarak, Allah, Sayyidina, Muhammad, Wala, Ali, was Hadi, as my aim, Wala, Tabi, and Allah, who be Sani, Ila, Yomidin, Amabar, Pausi, Kumibabu, Lai, and Nafsi, with the whole Lai, and the Wajal, and you had Musalun. هذا وصل وسلم على من أمرت بالصلاة والسلام عليه فقال تعالى إن الله وملائكته يصلي يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على عبادك على عقدك ورسولك محمد ورد الله من الخلفاء الراشدين Abi Bakar, Umar, Muhammad, Muhali, Wan Sahib, Sahib, Ajma'in, Tabi'in, Allahum, Mutabi'in, Min Insani, Ilai, Al-Din. Allahumma uqirna lidin al-khayri wal-insan, wa taqabbalhu minna ya kareem ya mannan. Allahumma inna nasaluka min al-khayri kullihi, aajilihi wa aajilihi, wa nasaluka al-jannata lana, wa liwalifina, wa liman la muhaqqun alayna, wa lil muslimina ajma'in. اللهم اقل للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات لحياء منكم اللموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات 
ويا رافي الدرجات ويا قاضي الحاجات ويا كافي المحيمات ويا رافي البليات ويا حل المشكلات يا غثنا يا إلهي ويا حل المشكلات يا غثنا يا إلهي إن توب الرحيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة ومقنا عذاب النار لا إله إلا الله الحليم الكريم سبحان الله رب العرش العظيم والحمد لله رب العالمين نسألك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك والصلاة من كل اسم والغنيمة من كل بر والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار اللهم أجرنا من النار اللهم أجرنا من النار اللهم أجرنا من النار اللهم لا تجعلنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا مرضا ومريضا إلا شفيته ولا مظلوما إلا نصرته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته وغفرته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قضيتها يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وضرياتنا قرة عين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم ودع علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التباب الرحيم ربنا تغفر لنا وقتنا مع الشاهدين رب يغفر ورحم وأنت خير الراحمين رب يغفر ورحم وأنت خير الراحمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك ونشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك وصلى الله تعالى على خير قلقه سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحان الله سبحان الله اللذين بحمده سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك ونشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك والحمد لله رب العالمين برحمتك يا رحم الراحمين إباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وإنهان الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروا على نعم عزيزكم واقيموا الصلاة إن الصلاة تنفع عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله أكبر الله يعلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته